so dear friends so today i will talk about this wonderful tool that's methods wizard now this tool is actually designed to write a very robust methodology section specifically for your systematic reviews and meta analysis for umbrella reviews and such kind of advanced review articles because uh, these systematic reviews and meta analysis and such secondary studies they uh, have a certain requirements because they follow a very strict structural uh, and uh, you know uh, guideline mediated structure so they have to be robust to uh, make uh, good uh, uh, review articles to good make good systematic reviews and to get published in some high quality journals and to have a clinical impact so uh, methods wizard makes the method section quite easier it includes all the major components of method that should be covered in writing systematic and review and meta analysis and it it give you use uh, you know pre made it's already you know uh, customized uh, uh, a platform to write all the method section fully there including all those things and making it easier for you so you end up writing a very robust method section if your method section is robust and it includes all the things that should it should cover then obviously all those things will reflect in your results if your methods and results are good then obviously your paper its validity its results and the quality will be quite excellent it will have a impact clinical impact as well as it will get published into some good journals so just explore what this is so go to the google and just click on this method wizard when you uh, click on this method wizard a window will open here so this is the click on this create new project once you click on this uh, this interface will open now i just earlier did the whole process and i will show you what you will do with this so once you create a new project you will land here this will be your first page the first page will be a title page like whenever you will submit your paper for publication they will ask you to give a title page so the title page includes your research title your author names the affiliation details and all this thing thing so i have randomly just for example written a title of research here it is uh, not a research title in actually but i have written a random that's efficacy of these beta blockers in patient with heart failure with preserved ejection fraction and a systematic review and meta analysis once you write this it will already be written here itself your title and here asking you what year will be published i just wrote it 25 2025 and then it will ask you about people by people it means your authors it could be two four six eight authors whatever author or just start writing them here you know, like i have written here there with examples a few names if you want to add more these are four people you can just add one more people like yz it could be anyone if you wish to acknowledge some of your seniors uh, your supervisor teacher anyone you can write your name here and it will uh, appear here once you do that go to research plan a very customized uh, you know this uh, multi column and multi row uh, you know section is there in which you write each uh, plan of your research step by step and is giving you the option of did you complete it or not say for example your first option these are random things they're written in this your first thing will be to select a research topic or uh, idea you can write here and uh, you can write a description at least two or three people will work on next two weeks for this title and if you are writing certain tool you can use okay or we'll use pubmed we'll use google scholar we we'll also use chat gpt these three things to get an idea of research on a certain theme and we, this is how once you are done with that thing you will click here that completed you will come to your next task that is your design meeting systematic review that what design and how you are designing that you can write a description here that how your team will work and what you will use you can say that we will use a method advisor tool so this customized uh, uh, platform actually uh, uh, is built in components and all the major things that it includes they are also available <clears throat> They are written there, they are available there, you don't need to search. And it also gives you the possible tools, the recommended tools that you can use. So 
so there are different plants regarding your meetings regarding your uh, formulating questions following this pico so it is giving you this pico as well click on this it will take you to pico i'm not going into detail of pico there are a lot of videos available on the channel you can watch about pico then how you will find and review those exciting up upcoming you know uh, studies through pubmed or you can register your proposal at prospero click on these things and you will if you don't know about these things the best thing is that you will know about these things and here is a, a long list of uh, how you will screen your studies how you will manage the citations how will you uh, collect risk of pr how will you extract the data synthesize your data you how you do meta analysis how will you grade your studies how will you make summary findings so all those components that should be included in a systematic meta analysis are there and step by step click on this completed this is how your uh, research will follow a very structured pattern and once you that it here is the option of introduction you will write your introduction here whatever your introduction is and then it comes to the major method section you will first it will ask you regarding your eligibility criteria and eligibility criteria is actually p quest it will ask you about your, your p of your research paper that's population just click on this include in here write your inclusion criteria like i have randomly written that i will take people above 18 and uh, uh, and you know <clears throat> what you will do it uh, in the second option come here right click on exclude and write your exclusion criteria so once that done it will ask you that what is the eye of your research or intervention my eye or intervention i will use beta blockers and then what's comparator i will compare it to those patients who are not on beta blockers so this is my uh, comparator likewise it will ask you <clears throat> about your primary and secondary outcomes or results and then your setting like i'm working in ed so i will write it ed you can write your inward your patient inpatient opd whatever department is and then it will ask you that what kind of studies will you include like i will only include our city so i just did it and once you complete the each section in this research wide at the end whatever you check whatever you check above columns options here it will write a summary of you like in this search uh, eligibility criteria whatever i checked in bequest whatever i have checked in design everything this is here it has written the first component of research for me that here it is we aim to find assess and synthesize all the rcts containing this 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 so inclusion exclusion criteria these were our primary secondary outcomes these were our participants intervention and setting whatever things are <coughs> You can copy it from here and take into your word document likewise it will ask you to uh, uh, just tell us about your search strategy and it will give you all the options whatever it should include in your search strategy and with its sub options like it will ask you that who will design and run the search you will write the name of your authors who will de uh, you will deal with the duplicate results write the name of those one or two authors uh, what things you will include in your search study that will you include mesh or not will you include some search filters or not will you include some synonym search filters like those who are on pubmat your age your ears filters did you get the help from somewhere it will ask you about what language papers did you use like i <clears throat> did in only english so then it go to search strings it will ask you about this uh, keywords and mash terms that you use for each of those uh, uh, databases it will asking you that what databases did you search i just clicked a few randomly commonly all are available and if you did search something else which is not here you can add here and then ask you about the dates which dates you search then your study screening it will ask you here you only have to write the name that how many people will independently screen the tiles and abstracts how how many people will screen your full text who will screen your full text such things will be here and then it will ask you that how you uh, resolve the disagreements either by consensus or you referred it to some senior one and they ask you about the prisma did you follow the prisma or not you said yes once you do that it is here then it is all asked about data extraction that in method section you will write about your data extraction that uh, how will we extract the data how many authors will extract the data and which authors will perform the extraction of data and then you have got mm, an optional details here like what type of data will you extract from those studies like i said in method i will take the data of study authors of the year the study got published country in which the study was done study design setting other if you are extracting something else data like mortality data you're asking about hospitalization data you will add this thing here what will what will you at participant level what data will you collect for the uh, you know from the participants 
of all those studies like i calculate i will calculate the number of participants in each study the age of those participants gender smoker any comorbid other things and once you do all these things uh, what will be the comparator and here again you will be your output of whatever you checked above here it is it will be like this been copied from here so similarly you will go to the column of this risk of bias that which tool did you use you will select one of the uh, tools from here for risk of bias those of you who uh, have done the meta analysis or know about the meta analysis and systematically you must be knowing about these things if you don't know then you need to know about these things and obviously that's it's not the talk of this video then they will uh, ask you about the measurement effect in method section you have to tell uh, before doing this thing that what you will do how you will uh, you know uh, in whatever studies you will use for data collection or extraction of data how you will uh, you know extract the data in terms of effects so it will ask you that will you perform a meta analysis or not if you only did systematic review you will just stop you will not go beyond this point you will only just stop there but if you are doing the meta analysis following a systematic review you will have to uh, carry out all the steps of the meta analysis in which you will ask you that meta analysis say okay it was performed then it will ask you that which uh, software did you use it have some common softwares used for the meta analysis if something else was used you can write on like python it's not here you can add python here then it's ask you that what methods did you use for your dichotomous or uh, you know uh, nominal uh, variables like risk ratio what's ratio what did you use for your continuous variables like smds or uh, mean differences and then uh, some other question like which model did you use for the random effects or uh, your fixed effects and here it will be your output of all this details so likewise it will ask you about a unit of analysis it will ask you about the missing data how did you man uh, manage the missing data in your study then it will ask you about heterogeneity just only it is asking how will you deal heterogeneity in your meta analysis so it is giving you the common statistics uh, models that are commonly used uh, commonly the i square so i clicked i will use i square so here it is written that had was assessed using the i square static this will be part of your method then about publication be asked that did you perform that not this and what you will use to perform a funnel test eager test and then subgroup analysis it will ask you about subgroup did you perform or not how did you perform you have to just uh, check these boxes and this will be a research plan at the end and when you are done doing all this just click on this method section click on this generate output and here once you generate an output whatever did you check whatever you have included in your checklist that you will do it will like a whole method section it will come here and it will be written like a, a very well robust method section just if you think there is a need of improvement rewrite those methods click here go back and just edit if you think it's okay all the things are well you have covered all the things just copy click copy and bring into your document like this i brought here so i brought it here and it's like a very robust written method section of your uh, systematic review meta analysis that includes your eligibility criteria that includes your participants intervention outcomes settings search strategy and then it includes your study selection and screening how did you screen in data extraction details type of studies assessment of risk of bias how did you assess who did assess measurement effects and then it includes your dealing with missing data assessment of heterogeneity assessment of publication biases subgroup analysis and all this thing thing will be included and you, in the end you will end up writing a very good method section method section is inclusive and it, it includes all the components obviously those things will reflect in your results and once your methods and results are uh, written perfectly obviously those things are going to be of the value the results will be validated once they will be accepted they will have a clinical impact obviously when these method and result section are well written they are correctly written they are inclusive of all the components obviously your discussion section will reflect those things and here you will end up a very good search paper that will have a clinical impact if your findings are uh, significant and obviously it will go into a well reputed journal as well i hope that this video would have been helpful for you thanks